So good evening and welcome ladies and gentlemen boys and girls to a special radio meet and greet with a legendary indian fast bowling hero Ishan Sharma he's of course the hero of a 2013 champions trophy as well agar mujhe time diya to main ek ghanta usi ke bare mein baat karte baith jaunga uh, i'll move on quickly to what this meet and greet is about so Ishan bhai nine special radio black card owners and up they have earned an opportunity to ask questions to you in an attempt to get to know you better this is a sort of money can buy experiences that radio cards can actually unlock the kind of access it gives to the fans of the game and we are sure that our members cannot wait to know what makes you tick who your role models are what's your secret to your success and maybe even some insight into the indian dressing room as well so i'll do one thing but quickly fatafat sabko introduce kar deta hu the nine winners there's palash there's chaitanya there's rahul uh, there's ronak crick crazy veer sagar viren akshay uh there's yourself sorry this team is not visible to me so agarwal is also over here so everyone's quite excited sabke paas kuch sawal hai puchne ke liye um i'll do one thing viren uh, let's start with you so hi shan bhai so hi, very 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 privileged to be here on this call with you and uh, thank you very much i think the question i'm going to ask you is a question that many might have asked you and i'm here to address an answer to that is how does an 18 year old rattle ricky ponting in that way like he did in that spell and how did you bowl those 150 plus kilometer bullets and rattle him because that was i started watching cricket in 2007 and till then i would always think it's a batter's game but when i saw that spell on an early morning before school i was totally baffled so would like to hear more from you on that uh to be honest you know as you said that i was 18 year old then I never really thought like who is the batsman in front of me. You know, I was the only thing I was doing just enjoying my bowling. So there was a passion in me. You know, always there is a passion for me to bowl fast and everything for the country. I was just you know, I was in good rhythm. Why I'm I can say that because that I played whole season of Ranji Trophy, which was very important for any cricketer. I think if you play Ranji Trophy and then you make a debut for Indian team, I think then things will get very easy for you because you know taking wickets in Ranji Trophy is pretty hard compared to the Test cricket. That's what I have realized. Yeah. Uh, and coming back to that spell, and I was do- I was just doing the same thing what I was I've been doing in a Ranji Trophy. It's just a matter of time that nobody has realized that I was doing the same thing in a Ranji Trophy. It was just live on the TV and everybody realized you know that. I am bowling nine over spells, and I think even the Ranji Trophy, I bowled for a whole session. So yeah. that was like fifteen overs in a session I bowled. So I think that was something I've been doing, and that's why Viru Bai, you know, told Anil Bai, you know, that I can bowl long spells because I've been doing it, uh, doing it for the Delhi team as well. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and bowling quick uh, because I was in a good rhythm, and I don't have to think too much about the game and. or who is in front of me or anything so i was just bowling just bowling just enjoying my bowling which is very important absolutely uh, virin i'm really sorry man aapka introduction bhi nahi pucha aapko so where are you from uh i am from mumbai okay and okay. what do you do i basically i work uh, at farm easy for market like marketing at farm okay. easy and i'm also a fantasy cricket influencer so. awesome no oh. lovely 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 next let's move on to palash aapka aapka sawal puch lijiye Hi, sir. Hi, Shan sir. Yeah. Hello. How are yeah. you, Palash? I am fine, sir. Sir, my question is, uh, sir, what is the major difference when you switch from red ball to white ball cricket, and how do you manage the transition? Uh, I think from red ball to white ball, it's pretty easy. It's just the skill matter. What is really important in a white ball? With the load wise, I can say you know that red ball is pretty much more load because you have to bowl lot of overs in a day. So I I would say like twenty overs in a day you have to bowl. So it's all about you know your preparation comes in, and then when when you switch to the white ball, then your skills matter because you bowl in a different stage. So if you practice in a different kind of situations and different kind of mindset in the practice, then it's pretty easy. Otherwise, if you don't practice that. the way you want to perform in the game it it might uh, become difficult yeah to so ishan bhai i think um, limited overs pe bowling is more mentally challenging right matlab ki kya kaise dalna hai and test mein physically uh, challenging hoga ha but mentally i think it's more of a skill challenging okay. i would say kyunki one day cricket mein aapko different different type ke skills hone chahiye jo ki bahut important hai ki slower balls 
yorker or you know wide yorker bouncer length ball and all these things but nowadays i think the two new balls are there in the one day cricket so majority most of the time uh you just bowl back of the length till the time you know batsman doesn't start hitting you yeah so the okay. format has totally changed now actually right and it's good that you guys adopted really well so purane players ko it was like ek rule hai abhi ke new bowlers ko ek hai but you guys graciously accepted and ek to let's be honest like cricket has been very much uh, you know favoring the batters despite that aap jaise bowlers who stand up against these batsmen like you mentioned jo pehle spell dali thi you still remember that uh, anyway again i have just start blabbering chaitanya please introduce yourself and then please tell us what's your question hi san sir how are you hello hello chaitan how are you i am fine i am from baroda and i am a ca okay. nice oh nice my question to you is that in test matches we generally see that two bowlers uh, set up a batsman in a uh, pair to take their wicket so who was your favorite partner in setting up a batsman uh, i think i would say zahir khan not just in a way that he set up the batsman but i think i learned a lot from him even in the test cricket or any form of cricket because he has played lot of cricket and obviously the kind of experience he shares with me i think it was something i can never forget in my career especially the initial stage he told me how to you know hide uh, the reverse swing because batsmen see the shine and then play it so he told me you know just if you can try and do you know that hold the ball in your left arm non bowling arm and then change it record in the last moment so it is very difficult for a batsman to see which side you are keeping the shine so all these things small things matter but nobody knows it even if you can see uh, jimmy anderson interview so even he told the same thing that he learned the reverse swing art from the zaid khan because batsmen are keep on looking at the shine so it's very really easy for the batsman okay and ishan the aapko test cap which player which indian legend had handed to you uh, anil bhai in bangladesh oh, wow. Okay, and and how's the emotions as as a player? Because we all have dreamed dreamed of playing for Team India, but none of us have you know been able to do that. So, how are your emotions? How are they? Actually, my emotions are not clear, but I was so much under pressure. When my that time period, because Bangladesh, it's always you know full of crowd. It's always you know house full and everything, and people keep on shouting. And our bowling came. So. जब बॉलिंग आई तो मेरी बॉलिंग आई तो हमारी बॉलिंग में जब चेंज हुआ तो जनरली वी वर साइक्लिंग शॉट्स अंडर नीथ अवर ट्राउजर्स सो आई जस्ट केप इंसेड ऑफ कीपिंग साइक्लिंग शॉट्स आई वोर माय शॉट्स नॉर्मल शॉट्स ओके तो मेरे को भी ये बात रियलाइज नहीं हुई जब मैं पसीना पसीना हो गया क्योंकि बांग्लादेश में बहुत ह्यूमिडिटी है तो मैंने देखा कि मैंने कहा मुझे इतना पसीना क्यों हो रहा देन आई रियलाइज दो आई वेयर साइक्लिंग शॉट्स सो आई थिंक ओ आई आई वेयर नॉर्मल शॉट्स इंसेड ऑफ अ साइक्लिंग शॉट्स तो वो सब चीजें एक्चुअली एक चीज होती है कि ऑब्वियसली आप इंजॉय करते हो क्योंकि अगर आप इंजॉय नहीं कर रहे या पैशन नहीं है उस गेम को खेलने के लिए तो आई आई थिंक थिंक नो पॉइंट ऑफ प्लेइंग प्लेइंग दैट स्पोर्ट एनीथिंग नॉट ओनली स्पोर्ट राहुल प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ एंड व्हाट्स योर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन राहुल इट लुक्स लाइक आप वेदर रिपोर्ट देने वाले हो अभी योर बैकग्राउंड इज लाइक प्रॉपर नो 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 हाई ईशान सर हाउ आर यू आई एम गुड राहुल जी हाउ यू या थैंक यू सो मच सर सर मेरा आपसे नेशनल जोग्राफी के लिए काम करते हो क्या आप मैं आई एम वर्किंग फॉर एन आईटी कंपनी ओके ओके सो मेरा आपसे ये क्वेश्चन था कि uh, हमने आपकी चैंपियन ट्रॉफी में वो स्पेल देखी थी 18th ओवर की दैट वाज ब्रिलियंट एज अ ऑडियंस वी रियली एंजॉयड दैट ओवर ओके सो व्हाट वाज गोइंग थ्रू योर माइंड व्हेन इंग्लैंड नीडेड 20 of 16 in champion trophy final uh, how did you get both morgan and bopara in same over <laughs> uh actually at that time i was pretty much under pressure because you know for la- just before the before i got morgan out two balls i bowled wide and before that i he hit me for a six so then my wife came up to me and then he said you know i think because the wind was blowing to the other side so he said it's pretty easy to hit a length ball so it's better if you keep him you know out of his mark just bowl wide so i tried to bowl two wide yorkers it didn't happen it didn't land on the same spot so it was wide then he said okay go back to normal then i said let me bowl one more ball but instead of bowling wide yorker i just bowled you know roll my finger and then bowl a slower ball so because i i am someone who never look at the scoreboard because i feel if i look at the scoreboard then it put me under pressure so i don't look at it 
I was just doing what I can do or help my team to win a game. So I just bowled that, you know, slower ball and fortunately it just landed on Ashwin's hand and then he came up to me and said, you know, I think from here you just won us the game. And I was like, they just need, you know, 16 balls, 21 and how come you're saying this? He said, just wait and watch. And the next ball, I don't know how come, then I bowled a bouncer and I put a like, you know, unorthodox field, which nobody was expected. My boy even told me, put your square leg back and mid wicket. I said, just keep me, keep it for a one over or one ball. He said, okay, then uh, I just bowled a bouncer and he hit again to Ashwin on a square leg. So I think those two balls changed the game, which we never thought. Totally. I still remember that one, like those consecutive balls, those catches. And I think uh, Bravi Vopara was asking the umpire, se. I think Kumar Dharma Sena was the guy, that this is no ball. Yeah. Na. And Haan. Kumar Dharma said, what no ball, what no ball. <laughs> I, I <think laughs> because that was the first bouncer and there is a yeah. new role saying that you can bowl two bouncers in one day game. Exactly. Lovely. Uh, Ronak, please aap apne aapko introduce yourself and then what's your question? Uh, hello, my name is Ronak and I am from Surat, Gujarat. Hello, Ronak. How are you? I'm fine. And I am a student of engineering. And my question is, you play with India's two legendary captain, Mahendra Singh Dhoni and Rahul Javid. So how is their captaincy style different from other? Will you tell? So you're asking about Rahul Bhai and uh, Mahi Bhai, right? Yeah? Yes, yes. Correct. I think that's the question. Uh, Sir, bow Bhai sir. Bol, bol, khul ke bolo. <laughs> Yes, sir. Achha. I think I didn't, I didn't play much under Rahul Bhai. I just played, I would say, I think one game because that after that, I think he he just left his captaincy and then Anil Bhai became a captain when I was in Australia and everything. And then once we came back, even Anil Bhai was there for like four or five test matches, but mostly I played under my Bhai. So I think it's very difficult to say because when I made my debut, it was Rahul Bhai who was the who was captaining the side and uh, you know being a youngster it first i think he even these guys didn't expect much from me because i was a youngster and playing and making my debut once you know i've become more stable into the team than my wife told me give me my roles you know if we are playing in india what are my roles if we are playing abroad what are my roles so roles are very important which he has given me so you know yeah i think that that's that's the only thing I can say. Awesome, uh, Craig Crazy Veer. Your your name your, sounds like a YouTuber influencer. Are you as well? <laughs> Abhi, yes, trying awesome. to be one. <laughs> ah, lovely. Yeah. But what do you do? Uh, basically, I am an engineer. This okay. is my first year in corporate world. <laughs> wow. Okay. Good luck for that. Thank you, sir. Yeah. yeah what's your question? So, uh, uh, hi, Ashan, sir. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, sir. And uh, I just cannot believe I'm <laughs> talking to you because uh, you have been my hero since the those exploits in Lords 2014. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. I, I remember discussing with friends that we cannot win and just, just came back from school and saw what you had done. So, since then, Indian pace attack in tests has been consistently improving. And with improvement, there has been uh, a lot of competition among youngsters from Ranji and the already established ones. So my question is, two years from now, we will tour England again, I guess. Which are the four bowlers you see as the Indian pace attack, in the first playing 11? I think it's a very difficult question or to answer right now, because if you can see the bench strength or you know, can, you know, you can see the, the way everybody's performing right now, especially the youngster, it's very, it's very difficult, but instead of saying four, three or four fast bowlers, I would say five or six. And among them, I can, you know, rate the three who can play the next test series in England, I think. Uh, Bumrah for sure. Uh, Siraj for sure. And then I think whoever will be the captain, it depends on him. Either he wants someone who can contain or you want someone who can bowl really fast. So if you want to make him play or let's see how you how you just help him, you know, to get better in the test cricket or even in the white ball cricket, it's just Umran Malik. I think he's a great talent. 
so he just bowled quick and everything i think he's a great talent and even avesh khan he's very very mature very smart cricketer he played lot of domestic cricket so four and who else is there ah uh, it's very difficult uh who else is there i don't know can you help me out mukesh kumar has done well in ranji recently jaydev nathkat is making his comeback so i don't know can uh navdeep saini i would navdeep say navdeep saini right county yes because played. because he i just played my domestic uh, domestic uh, circle with him uh, and you know he he did really well in yes. uh, t20s and even in the one days he was bowling quick and everything he just got back from injury and now he's back in the indian team so i think it's a great chance for him even if he make debut or oh, not debut sorry if he may if he play in this bangladesh tour i think if he done well then i'm sure that he'll establish himself in the indian cricket team right. so i think these are my five fast bowlers i would say so that is siraj bumra umran uh, avish and navdeep ओके बट ईशान भाई अभी जो वर्कलोड जो है द इंजरीज दैट आर हैपनिंग उसको कंसीडर करके इज इट टाइम टू यू नो ग्रूम टू सेट्स ऑफ बॉलर्स टू सेट्स ऑफ बॉलिंग अटैक्स फॉर ईच फॉर्मेट क्योंकि इंजरीज कैन नॉट बी अवॉइडेड क्योंकि आपका जो रोल एज अ बॉलर यू इट इट रियली टेस्ट्स योर मसल्स और यू नो बॉडी तो इंजरीज होते रहेंगे एंड इट बिकम्स अ बिग इशू क्योंकि अभी वर्ल्ड टी20 में बिना बुमराह गए थे एंड वी हैव टू ब्रिंग इन शमी जिसे वी डिडंट रियली गिव इनफ अपॉर्चुनिटी इन टी20s फॉर द एंटायर ईयर so is it time to do that up i think instead of instead of doing that we i think if we can be smart which is very important smart as in that you know uh you have to see what are the important things so like next year we are just playing world cup right so we're not playing any t20 so there is no point of playing all the players who is going to play the one day cricket no point of make them play in t20 cricket okay fair so make them available for for uh, one day cricket right so they yeah. they'll play more games they'll be ready for the world cup and everything will be sorted so i think same thing you should do in a test cricket because in india or even in the asia we'll just play you can say two fast bowlers not more than that <laughs> and then when we go abroad then you have to prepare yourself you know to bowl 300 overs in a five five games so how yeah. you prepare yourself which is that is very important Yeah, so I think management has to you know be very clear that what what priority is and on that basis, bowlers go to play around. Fair enough. Yes, I think. Zagar, introduce yourself and uh, drop your question as uh, question two. Hi, Shan sir. Hello, Zagar. How are you? Yes, I am fine. I am Zagar. I am from MP, and I am okay. a final year engineering student. Oh, there is so, lot of engineers today. Yes. So my question is. Sir, Who is the one batsman that you like bowling to, or who do you sir, enjoy facing? Sir, to be honest, that it's I just take it as a challenge. It's not just one batsman I enjoy bowling to. It just yeah. if anybody is there who just I just play it with one mindset that is you know I'm here to take wickets. If you're not getting out, then I make sure that I get hard on you even. Say a few words to you, but may, <laughs> so that's what that's what my mindset is. Instead of you know putting myself under pressure or something like that, just just enjoy my bowling. Make sure that every batsman gets out on me. Okay, I was actually expecting that you will take Steve Smith's name because we still remember the infamous face that you had uh, mimicked of Steve Smith. But, yeah. yeah. So I have to do things you know to upset <laughs> a batsman. You know. Yeah. So I was just 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 doing that. Awesome, uh, Sachin Agarwal, up next row. Please introduce and your question. Yeah, hello, sir. Uh, hello, myself Sachin. Sachin Agarwal, and uh, from Raipur, Chhattisgarh. Uh, my question was on the Indian side: Who is the most difficult batsman to bowl? Uh, whether it's Dhoni, M S Dhoni, Kohli, Rohit Sharma, or anyone else. I think I'm lucky enough, you know, to that all these players are. Playing, and I'm playing for the same team so that I don't have to bowl against them because all of them is pretty difficult batsmen to bowl on. Not only Rohit or Mahi Bhai or Virat or KL or anyone. I think they all are great batsmen. Ah, uh, but as I said, you know, if I'm playing against them, I don't see that who's playing in front of me. 
So I just just you know see them as a batsman, and I have to get them out. I don't really see who's playing in front of me or not. Okay. Awesome. Yusuf, <laughs> up next row. Hi, sir. Hello. Uh, my question is that for playing India is not a easy task. Uh, when you're getting started to, uh, when you think about for playing India, how is the start and how is the struggle and how first of all you have to convince your parents. How do you convince your parents? Sorry, boss. Can you repeat your question because your I think voice yeah, was yeah. echoing. Okay. Uh, for playing India is not an easy task. How do you manage to? uh play for india and first of all how do you convince your parents oh okay how would i convince my parents i don't have to convince my parents boss my parents were very supportive my parents oh. said you know you do whatever you want to do we will we'll back you but the only thing we would say just get a job at least you know from your cricket so that you can have a living <laughs> <laughs> so yeah but my from the start only my parents were very supportive they they were in constant touch with my coaches and everything so that i have future in cricket or not so my parents were like okay and the good thing about my father he always come for a game but he never come to communicate or he never did any coach any kind of a coaching with me where i've seen like right now there is lot of parents who you know push their kids you know to to the certain level where they feel like it's a pressure situation i think if you just leave them alone and let them enjoy the game which is very important and uh, as a youngster every youngster has a you know dream to play for the country but i was just taking one step at a time i was just playing under 19 17 for delhi and then slowly slowly i made progress and then you know make it into the team okay so aapke aise koi childhood memory hai when you just started off uh, let's say your dad used to come to watch or something ऐसे कुछ यूनिक सी स्टोरी है बताने के लिए हाँ मतलब कि हम जब जूनियर क्रिकेट खेलते थे उस टाइम पे दिल्ली के लिए तो आ, मेरे पापा और मेरे दो चाचा आते थे मैच देखने के लिए तो एक बार ही हम विदर्भा के अगेंस्ट मैच खेल रहे थे दिल्ली दिल्ली में अंडर 19 का तो एक सेशन में मुझे कोई विकेट नहीं मिली थी तो लंच के बाद मेरे पापा और मेरे दो चाचा मैच देखने के लिए क्योंकि इवन माए Uh, we live in a joint family. My parents and you know my chachas and everything. So they even they love cricket. They supported me uh, as well. You know, being a youngster and you know playing cricket and everything. And they just uh, when they come, then my friends and you know the teammates just told me, you know, Brahma Vishnu Mahesh Agar, if he is out, he will get. So all these kind of things, you know, when you remember, it's pretty funny. Yeah. But but yeah i think even they were happy when they get to know all these things <laughs> sweet uh, bhavya what's your what's your question please introduce yourself and what's your question okay hi ishant i am bhavya Hello. i am from delhi and i'm working for radio so okay. my first memory with you and a video call was during 2018 senior nationals basketball i was playing with prathima bhi and you were just forced to kind of wave to the team wishing them luck ki during the nationals Oh, yeah, so yeah, my question that. was, uh, since your in-laws are heavily into basketball, when you're at their place, how is the atmosphere like? Is the discussion more about basketball or it's more about cricket? What is it like? And then the follow-up question would be, how did you meet your wife? Uh, first, I think there is no discussion about you know uh, which sport we should discuss because there is always a debate about which sport is better. I mean, tough. cricket or a basketball for me you know fast bowling is tough because biomechanically it's not an you know uh, natural movement you do because you run uh, you twist your body and then you bowl and all these things but there is always a debate they say like basketball is a tough sport to play and all this and blah 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 that no fast bowling is much more difficult to do because biomechanically your body is not produced for that so there is always a debate and still there is a debate is going on so that debate will never end to be honest <laughs> who wins the debate if you were to answer do you win that debate no i'm saying that still <laughs> the debate is going on till now okay. i think it will go on okay. and and i met my wife uh, in the tournament so 
her sister and one of my closest friends just organized a tournament basketball tournament and i was the chief guest i just saw her once uh, not once i just saw her there and then i was like okay yeah she's the one so yeah it just took me you know one year for me you know to understand her and because initially she didn't like cricket uh, she was like why would i date or you know all these things with to a cricketer so she was just saying no 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 so but i think <laughs> later on she agrees it after she get to know me sweet yeah i am that lovely so guys i think i'm done with the first round of questions akshay when aap se bhi pucha right sawal ke liye ye aapka reh gaya oh sorry yaar akshay yeah go on then we'll start with the next round of questions uh hello ishan sir hello akshay ji सबसे पहले तो स्टार्टिंग से मैं वेट कर रहा था अपने क्वेश्चन का मेरी हार्ट बीट तेज हो रही थी तो मैंने सोचा मेरी पानी पी लो थोड़ा सा कोई नहीं आखिरी आखिरी बारी में मेरी लगी तो सबसे पहले तो सर मैं टेस्ट क्रिकेट बहुत फॉलो करता हूं मैं बहुत बड़ा फैन रहा हूं आपका टेस्ट में आपकी बॉलिंग का बहुत ज्यादा बड़ा और मेरा सवाल ये था सर ग्रोइंग अप जब बड़े होते हैं तब आपका जरूर कोई इंस्पिरेशन रहा होगा किसको देख के आपने क्रिकेट खेलना शुरू करा था वो बता दीजिए अह सर ऐसा तो मैंने कभी अह कोई प्लेयर नहीं था कि जिसको देख के मेरे को ऐसा लगा कि मेरे को क्रिकेट खेलना शुरू करना है मेरे साथ मेरे इंस्पिरेशन एक्चुअली मेरे पापा और मेरे चाचा थे क्योंकि जब मैं छोटा होता था बचपन में तो उनको क्रिकेट खेलने का बहुत शौक होता था तो मेरे घर के पीछे ही एक जगह होती थी जब भी कोई मैच होता था वो खेलने चले जाते थे तो मेरे को वो अपने साथ में ले जाते तो वो एक जर्नी ऐसी मतलब डेवलप हुई ऑटोमेटिकली कि मेरे को क्रिकेट ही खेलना था क्योंकि मेरे पापा मेरे चाचा मेरी फैमिली में हर कोई छोटे टूर्नामेंट ही खेलते थे बट वो क्रिकेट का जुनून था उनके पास तो वो वहां से मेरे को एक्चुअली क्रिकेट खेलना शुरू हुआ फिर मैं टेनिस बॉल क्रिकेट बहुत खेलता था जब मैंने शुरू में था टेनिस बॉल टूर्नामेंट एक एक ओवर डालना और उस टाइम पे आपके पास जब पॉकेट मनी नहीं होती तो आपको पांच सौ रुपए भी बहुत लगते थे तो मैं एक ओवर डालता था दूसरी टीम से पांच सौ लेता था और मैच खेल के वापिस आता था तो दैट्स हाउ एक्चुअली आई स्टार्टेड प्लेइंग माई क्रिकेट एंड यू नो दैट्स हाउ आई गेट इन टू द क्रिकेट ओके थैंक यू सो मच सर Sweet. So I'll start off with the second round of questions, and this would be the last round. Ah, uh, Palash, your question, please. Sir, my second question is, sir, how did you feel when you took seven wickets at Lords? Oh. Ah, uh, sir, I was just happy that I took seven wickets. More than that, I was just happy. Actually, not happy. More than happy that I helped my team to win a game. so that was my main thing because whenever i played i just want one thing that how i can help my team to win a game not only country but even if i play for delhi or any ipl team or even you know anywhere even for a club team so i just want to make that kind of impact player where i can win the games for the team lovely chatadia you're next sir fast bowler mein injury ka problem thoda zyada rehta hai तो आपका रिकवरी फेस कैसा होता है बट उस टाइम आपको पेशेंस बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट होता है और जो आपका रिकवरी प्रोसेस होता है उस पर पेशेंस के साथ साथ आपको मेंटली फ्रेश रहना पड़ेगा कि उस टाइम फ्रस्ट्रेशन बहुत होती है कि आप अपने कोलीग्स को देखते हो खेलते हुए अच्छा करते हुए अपनी टीम को मैच जिताते हुए आपको भी उस सिचुएशन में होना होता है बट हर एक चीज का एक प्रोसेस होता है एक टाइम होता है तो आपको वो पेशेंस रखना बहुत जरूरी है कि अगर आपको पता है कि आप पेशेंसली जो भी रिकवरी है जो भी प्रोसेस है उसको फॉलो करोगे तो एंड ऑफ द डे आप उस रिजल्ट पे पहुंचोगे तो आई थिंक इट्स अ प्रोसेस ओरियंटेड थिंग नॉट ओनली दिस इवन प्लेइंग क्रिकेट ऑल्सो थैंक यू ओके अक्षय यू विल बी नेक्स्ट टेक योर टाइम बट उसके पहले आई विल स्टार्ट विद राहुल सो कीप योर क्वेश्चन रेडी अभी आप लास्ट नहीं राहुल भाई आप बता दीजिए ओके ओके सर आपने वीरेंद्र भाई से ऑलरेडी डिस्कस कर दिया है लेकिन मेरा क्वेश्चन वही था कि जब 2008 में डब्ल्यूएसीए में आपने वो रिकी पोंटिंग के वो स्पेल की ठीक है और वो पर्टिकुलर लाइन बहुत फेमस हो गई थी कैप्टन के द्वारा Uh, एक और करेगा <laughs> तो आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क एनी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी अबाउट दैट स्पेल नहीं सर वही इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी थी आई थिंक वो हाईलाइट हुई क्योंकि वो माइक के पास बोला गया था क्योंकि वीरू भाई को पता था कि यू नो आई जस्ट बोल लॉन्ग स्पेल 
he went for the delhi and he was the captain that year for delhi ranji trophy team yeah. so he knows that i bowled long spells like 12 12 13 13 over spells i just used to bowl in ranji trophy because i think uske piche bhi reason ye hai ki i would say thanks to my coach kyunki mere hamare coach jo coach sahab jo bowling karate the club mein ki wo आपको एक बजे बॉल देते थे और जब तक अंधेरा नहीं होता तब तक अगर आप बॉल देने वापस भी गए तो आपको बहुत गंदी गंदी गाली पड़ती थी <laughs> तो आप बॉल वापस देने भी नहीं जा सकते तो वही एक रीजन है कि आ, आ, मैं लंबे स्पेल डालता था ओके अक्षय हेलो सर हाँ मेरा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ये था कि रीसेंट जो टेस्ट साइड है उसमें आपका फेवरेट बोलर कौन सा है सर जो आपको लगता है की बहुत ज्यादा आगे जाके अच्छे रिकॉर्ड क्रिएट कर सकता है I think obviously Bumrah is the one who can you know do wonders for the Indian cricket team. Because his mindset, his work ethic, he is smart, which is very important. That he assesses the conditions and then according to the conditions, you know, that he conditions ke according he can change his bowling. So in okay. youngsters. बुमरा यंगस्टर ही है वो अभी तक इतना खराब बूढ़ा तो नहीं हुआ क्या बट यंगस्टर आई वुड से उमरान मलिक आई एम आई एम आई थिंक ही इज वन ऑफ द टैलेंट इन इंडिया व्हिच यू हार्डली गेट इन इंडिया बिकॉज़ बोलिंग 150 इट्स वेरी कंसिस्टेंटली इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट द काइंड ऑफ विकेट वी हैव ऑल्सो ईशान में एक्चुअली वी एज इंडियन फैंस आर वेरी नोटोरियस कि हम लोग कोई भी मैच अच्छा चला था हम लोग उसके हाईलाइट एडिट वगैरह करके मस्त वीडियो बनाते हैं और पोस्ट करते रहते हैं रीजन बिहाइंड then then also should see like which person is talking about what to you and you know mm-hmm. then then you say then you feel bad about yourself and you know right. you put yourself under pressure and all these things happen so i think most of the times we just switch right. it off our social media when especially you know playing in professional cricket i think okay i know it's it's not easy thing to do but yeah i think you have to do it okay fair enough uh, crick crazy veer your next हाय सर, सो मेरा सेकंड क्वेश्चन भी टेस्ट क्रिकेट के रिगार्डिंग ही है uh, आपका 2018 में काउंटी स्टेंट बहुत अच्छा रहा था आई गेस फर्स्ट ईयर था आपका बैटिंग भी बहुत अच्छी करी थी तो इज देर एनी चांस हम काउंटी क्रिकेट में आपको वापस देखेंगे आई वोट से नो कि मेरे को नहीं खेलना या क्या नहीं है जब तक मैं खेलना चाहूंगा तब तक मैं हर एक चीज ट्राई करना चाहूंगा uh, Obviously, I uh, I was unsold in IPL, so I went to play in county. And the blessing this guys for me was ki, uh, Jason Gillespie coach tha, uh, XK, and I think I've learned a lot from him. That's how you know once I got back from county, I was a different bowler because I've learned a lot from him. And yes, if I get a chance again for sure, I would love to play. That's it. Thank you, sir. Welcome, Sagar. Sir. मेरा क्वेश्चन ये है कि आपको कौन से कंट्री में सबसे ज्यादा टेस्ट खेलने में मजा आता है ओवरसीज से इंग्लैंड क्योंकि थोड़ा एक्चुअली बोलर्स के लिए कुछ होता है अदरवाइज अभी रिसेंटली साउथ अफ्रीका में भी थोड़ा हेल्प होने लग गया है बोलिंग विकेट्स में मतलब विकेट्स पे नहीं तो इससे पहले साउथ अफ्रीका के विकेट वर ऑल्सो स्लो एंड बुरा बॉल विच इज नॉट after 40 overs actually it's a batsman game with the kugabura ball because it doesn't happen much so if you don't leave something on the wicket for the bowlers then it's just become dead so i think i would say uh, england because ki jo ball use karte hain england mein dukes ka ball that is there's some always something is there for the bowler right cool virin so my question is pretty straightforward and it's regarding how you actually end up using variations in test matches because we see across bowling interviews that happen it's more about the line and the length but like in t20s you use a slow ball or a surprise bouncer how much is that element into play when you are on a test match i think 
in test cricket you all you can do is you know hold the ball in a different kind of scene because if the wicket is planted nothing much is happening if it's not reversing then you can you know aada teda pakad ke ball sirf ek hi jagah hai test cricket mein you know you can just hit that length consistently and you know be patient enough test cricket actually patience sikha deti hai har jagah aapko bhi thoda 5 din khel ke dekho to aapko bhi pata chal gaya chal jayega so ek hi cheez hoti hai ki consistently you have to keep on hitting that length okay thank you okay sachin yeah uh, my second question was uh, who are your top 5 fast bowlers of all time oh top 5 fast bowlers of all time i would say michael holding um uh, grat okay uh andy roberts okay. kapil paji uh one more obviously i think the way uh jimmy anderson is going i don't know and breaking all the records i would say yeah. jimmy yeah. anderson yeah awesome yusuf aapke paas koi sawal hai yeah sir tumhone uh, hi sir tumhone bahut sare wicket liye the test cricket mein and tumhara bahut sara favorite moment kya ek favorite moment rehta hai na wo favorite moment kya hai aapka kaun sa batsman ko out karne jab tumko feel mila tha फेवरेट मोमेंट तो बहुत सारे हैं खाली खाली आउट करने का नहीं है जैसे कि कई मूवमेंट ऐसे होते हैं कि जैसे मैंने अपना जब डेब्यू किया था वो मूवमेंट और वो कैप मैंने अभी तक संभाल के रखी है वो जर्सी मैंने अभी तक संभाल के रखी है वो एक ऐसा मूवमेंट था कि मैं कभी भुला नहीं सकता अपनी लाइफ में और उसके बाद दूसरी चीज ये कि जब मैंने अपनी कंट्री के लिए 50 टेस्ट मैच खेले वो जब मैंने अपनी कंट्री के लिए 100 टेस्ट मैच खेले तीन सौ विकेट पूरी करी तो ये सब चीजें जो होती हैं आप वो कभी भी मतलब एज अ क्रिकेटर कोई भुला नहीं पाएगा क्योंकि आप इतने लंबे टाइम तक खेलना अपनी कंट्री के लिए और सौ टेस्ट मैच खेलना और डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन में वो खाली क्रिकेट नहीं होती है एक जो आपको सिर्फ गेम सिखाती है मतलब वो लाइफ के बारे में भी बहुत सारी चीजें मेरे को सिखा गई जो मैंने शॉर्ट टेस्ट मैच खेले एंड इवन यू नो व्हेन यू थिंक अबाउट इट एक मोमेंट था जब आपको कैप मिली थी लाइक यू मेंशन फ्रॉम अनिल कुंबले सर अभी आप आपने भी कैप्स दिए आगे जाकर दैट शोज योर लेगेसी एज ए क्रिकेटर एज वेल ऑल्सो आप डू यू आई यू कलेक्टर बाय एनी चांस क्योंकि लाइक येस्टरडे में एक कैफे में गया था और वहां पर यूएस के जो फिफ्टी स्टेट है ना हर एक स्टेट का एक अलग यूनिक नंबर प्लेट रहता है एंड उस होटल में एवरी सिंगल नंबर प्लेट वॉज देयर फ्रॉम डिफरेंट स्टेट यूर कलेक्टेड इट वैसे आप कुछ कलेक्शन चूज कुछ भी कलेक्ट करते हो I just collect my items like balls, especially. Okay. Whenever I take five wickets, I just take that ball. Whenever I I took my hundred wicket, I took I have two hundred wicket ball, three hundred wicket ball, and I when I did my hundred, I played my hundred test match. I have that ball. So all these kind of things, you know, I have it with me. Yeah, because we as cricket fans are collecting radio player cards right now, all of us, which is why we got an opportunity to meet you. So that is our collection, Radio Player Cards. Uh, Ronak, your question. So can you tell about any special dressing room moments that you have had? Dressing room. So moment. can I tell you? Tell you what? Yeah. Or uh, any special dressing room moments that you have had? Dressing room moments. Okay. हाँ dressing room moments है तो मैं dressing room की बात थोड़ा बाहर निकालूँगा. But अभी तो कोई याद नहीं है बट देर देर आर लॉट ऑफ एक्चुअली नॉट ओनली वन देर नॉट ऑफ ड्रेसिंग रूम मूवमेंट ऑब्वियसली ऑल आर दैप्पी हैप्पी मूवमेंट्स आई हैड टिल नाउ वेर एवर लाइफ प्लेड सो आई थिंक वॉट आई रियलाइज एन स्पोक टू ऑल द क्रिकेटर्स दे वुड ऑलवेज से यू वॉन्ट मिस प्लेइंग क्रिकेट बट वट यू विल मिस इज एटमोसफियर ऑफ द ड्रेसिंग रूम and the the way jo aapne bola ki bahut kuch cheeze bata nahi sakta we can imagine the kind of fun you guys must be having inside 
and we wish someday yeah. we get to know at least kuch na kuch to pata chale but anyway i think this was a great insightful discussion kafi maza aaya uh, ishanta agar aapko kuch message dena ho to budding cricketers kyunki abhi i like to see not just cricketers sports person in general kyunki india mein abhi sports ka culture aa raha hai and many people maybe hum log ki generation is a little bit late ki hum log hamare dreams nahi fulfill kar paaye sports mein jaane ka but next generation is at least unke parents allow kar rahe so what would be your message be uh nothing i would just say just remember one thing why you started playing your sport because you have that passion there is someone in the tv you were watching that sport ki jab aapne usko tv mein dekha and then you have decided you want to play that sport yeah so okay. always remember always remember that feeling that you want to do something special for the sport and even for the team whatever team or individual sport you are playing and always work hard towards it never look for a shortcut awesome really nice thoughts it uh, guys really good questions from all of you you guys have been collecting radio cards you guys got one of those uh, members exclusive access you guys have black player cards of ishan sharma you guys are super lucky guys uh, thanks a lot i think this was a great discussion ishan bhai aapse milke bahut khush hu and again from all of india a big big thank you for your services 2013 champions trophy aapke wajah se hum log jeete so big thanks for that nahi nahi sir yeah you were one of the i think blessing <laughs> blessing blessing of all the indians and i think uh, i'll i'll do whatever i can do to help my team to win a game actually yeah thank you so much okay. thank, thank you, you thank you everyone yeah. thank, thank you thank you thank you everyone thank you sir thank you thank you sir